So now let's talk about what to do if you're at a party or a social event, going out to dinner. This is where I think a lot of people really struggle, especially with the consistency side of things. And then when they do it, when they do go out, they go into the, oh my God, I fucked up mindset, but because you already know you can't fuck up, you're already better off for it, right? So if you skip to this section, go back, watch it, super important. I have two strategies that have worked unbelievably well with myself and our circle members, clients, and I wanna share them with you because they can legitimately change your life. The first one, I call them bright lines. And basically, one of the reasons people struggle when they go out to social events, to parties, dinners, there's a lot of ambiguity. They don't know what's gonna be there. They don't know what they're gonna have. They don't wanna go off the rails. They feel like if there's a whole bunch of food, they're just gonna go binge. And that ambiguity, that not being sure of what's gonna happen causes more anxiety, which then usually leads to a massive binge and then feeling like you fucked up and you know that road. So what I say is a bright line is a steadfast rule. It's a rule that you cannot break and you make it before you go. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. There's no right or wrong rule, but you just have to make a rule with yourself. So for example, one of my favorite rules is this. You're gonna go to the party. There's gonna be a lot of food. You can have whatever you want, but make it fit on one plate. You get one plate, whatever you want at the party, put it on that plate, but that's it. That's one option. Another option is this. Let's say you're going to a big dinner. There's a lot of desserts. You can choose whichever dessert you want, but only one, not all of them. Pick one dessert and you can have as much of that one dessert as you want, but only one. Let's say you're worried about drinking a lot of alcohol. Before you go out, give yourself a set number of drinks that you are allowed to have. So you know beforehand, there's no ambiguity here. There's no like, oh, I don't know, like I'm just gonna have like seven drinks, whatever. Make a rule with yourself that you can't break. You run into trouble when you don't know and you sort of just go by the seat of your pants. You have to make a rule. And having these bright lines is so beneficial because then the anxiety is gone. You know what's gonna happen. It's just your job to follow it. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, easier said than done. And yes, of course it's fucking easier said than done. Everything is easier said than done, literally everything. But this is where you decide, do you actually want to achieve this or not? And if you do, setting these bright lines is going to make being in a calorie deficit way, way easier. Now this next strategy works very well, especially if you end up in a group of people who are fucking obnoxious when you tell them that you're trying to watch your calories. Oh, come on, have a slice of cake. Oh, come on, live a little, you're a Debbie Downer. I can't stand those people. I cannot stand it. And unfortunately, usually what's going on is when they're really trying to like get on you for trying to stick to your goals, usually what's going on is they're uncomfortable that you're not eating all of the junk. So this is how they try and get you to do it so they can justify doing it themselves. So just keep that in mind. But doing a challenge, I'm gonna explain this in a second, works unbelievably well. So give this a shot. If you go out to a party, to a dinner, whatever, and you say, oh no, I'm trying to watch my calories, I'm on a diet, whatever it is you say, and for some reason, people feel entitled to say something like, oh, come on, live a little, oh, come on, it's not a big deal, da 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 da. But one thing I found, and I have no idea why this works, if you say, uh, I'm doing a challenge with myself, all of a sudden it's like they just accept it. I've seen this time again, it also works with drinking. I'm not a big drinker. I'm not drinking all of 2019. When, pe when I go out, people are like, oh, come on, have a drink. I'm like, oh no, I'm doing a, doing a challenge for the year, I'm not drinking. People are like, oh, cool. They don't say a word. But if I just say, oh no, I don't really drink, they're like, ah, oh, come on. Come on, have one on me. Come on, dude, have one. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. So by saying you have a challenge with yourself, for whatever reason I don't know, people tend to lay off. So give that a shot next time you're around the people who are trying to just like, come on, you can do it. Don't be a Zebby Downer. It works really well. 